This morning we're continuing in our series of the SeaTac sampler and we're talking about the probes today. So there are several types of probes available. There's a thicker probe uh, that uses a large uh, plate and then there's thinner peak and stainless steel that use a different type of plate. Actually it will still work when you make the conversion, but it really is better to transfer over to this. So in order to do that, you just easily first turn the power off and then you pull the probe arm assembly forward, making sure you don't hit the probe in the wash reservoir. You uh, remove the two screws that are there and you slide the probe arm assembly off and then you slide the probe arm out, of course, because this is the thicker probe, so you'll see how much bigger it is than these. And then underneath, there's a set screw, and there's a smaller hole plate that's on the bottom, and you just simply switch this other plate over with this little thumb screw, it's very easy. And then, uh, then when you do use the other size probe, it will fit in there easily. And then you just uh, slide this back over the assembly. And um, secure that down. And now you'll notice that the plural plate that's on here is set up for a smaller hole that the peak probe goes through or the stainless steel uh, or the stainless steel whereas the larger bore probe from that actually is often comes with SeaTac won't actually fit through this hole you need the other plate for that one so uh, we do have a video on how to adjust the height of installing the probes uh, check for that but hopefully that answers your question. If you have any more questions about probes and material of probes and why to use different probes, let us know. We'd love to help. Thank you very much. Bye.